<coughs> Hi, today uh, I was wanted to talk about uh, uh, how to uh, put a header and trailer using Informatica in the output file. Means how do we generate a header and trailer file, a header and trailer row in our output file which we generate uh, within uh, within Informatica. So uh, to start with, uh, let's start with a small uh, simple mapping, and we'll generate a flat file and then see how to how to add a header row and trailer row in that uh, in that file to uh, so i have a very simple mapping uh, which is uh, taking rows from a country's table and dumping into a uh, dumping into a target and uh, we will create the workflow for this and then uh, sessions and uh, see how we can do that so i am creating a new workflow called uh, wf countries file uh, countries file that file and that's what I'm generating. So I will just uh, create uh, empty uh, empty workflow and then I will uh, create a session called S countries and this code FF and I will pick my uh, mapping which I created for this uh, sample. So I'm just creating the session. So my session is there and uh, I just link from start to my session. So this is my session uh, which I'm trying to edit now which uh, which will generate a flat file uh, but now we want our own header row and trailer row in this flat file so the way i'm going to do is generally we pick fail the uh, depending on your requirement we fail the parent of the task fails there are a few options uh, which we can talk about later so my source is countries and coming from a country's uh, source database and uh, <coughs> my target i will not put a relational i will put a flat writer flat file writer and I will give a flat file name in the target file directory called ffcountries.txt and this file I will create as a pipe delimited so that uh, uh, we are more see what we can do with a pipe delimited file I said okay so now this is this is the target file it will generate now in this target file of ff countries if we want to incorporate uh, header row and trailer row what we can do is uh, right now it says no header so there's an option if I drop down if you drop down this uh, header option there's a use header command output so for header command I have already written a command this server is running on Unix so uh, I will write a Unix command you can see here I'm just writing header with uh, uh, with a HDR uh, first by first uh, uh, first uh, three bytes and then it will print at uh, date time and it will also say this is a we I'm just putting a pipe and then putting a T saying that it's a test file for, for just to identify what kind of a file this is so I'm just removing any spaces and I will also I can add a footer command in which is going to count uh, number of rows in the file and uh, and put it in the trailer so trailer will be TLR and it will be at the end of the row count the number of rows in the file and uh, and write in the last row so it's a uh, ff countries dot txt so it's it's getting the rows from this file which is generating ff countries but now this countries uh, it I have to give the whole path where this is so what I'm going to do is I'm copying this pm directory you can use a parameter di parameter file uh, information uh, for uh, for getting this target file directory so what I have done is since my file is a pipe delimited all my header and trailer row is also pipe delimited so now I can save this and I can run and see what we get uh, so now it's saved I'm trying to execute this start the workflow and let's go back to our workflow it's running and let's see it's running now failed so i think uh, something wrong i did here uh, it's table view doesn't exist so i'll go back and see in my uh, what what's wrong in my source so it says uh, i didn't give the owner name owner name is HR. Say okay, save, and I 
run it again start the workflow go back here it's running so it succeeded i will go back and see the target file which it would, it would have generated and that will be in this target file directory and by change uh, only thing is uh, i have changed the dates so now it's by ff name so ff countries.txt this is the file which it generated now if you see it added header row and a trailer row now it it says there are 26 rows in this file now <clears throat> so 26 rows this will be uh, total in the file if you count there, there will be uh, uh, it also included the count of header row itself so if you want to exclude that you have to subtract minus one so a lot of things you can do by uh, uh, by by in this uh, script which you write so once again i wanted to show you what the, what is the uh, what's the option to write header and trailer row in the in the uh, target file if you go to a mapping if you look at the target and you pick use header command and uh, type whatever whatever uh, script you can write to generate that uh, uh, output make sure that uh, the script is valid you can run those script in your windows environment if it's windows environment you can run those command in the windows environment or unix whichever it is whichever it is uh, which wherever the informatica server is running and you can generate the header row and trailer row in the file easily without doing many much of uh, manipulations uh, with uh, without without creating header row and then uh, uh, header row file and trailer row file and then concatenating the concatenating those files together this is a better option to do i hope this will help if you have questions please uh, send me some comments and uh, i will try to answer your questions thank you